this time of year in the heyday, this, this harbour would be full of ring net boats now. There'd be 50, 60, 70 of all of them. And all in here, permanently based. The ones from the fourth, they couldn't get back home. And uh, the ones from uh, Campbelltown and up on the uh, on the uh, Girvan Ballantrae side, they would be, some of them would be getting home at the weekends. But uh, through the weekdays, they'd be down here and they'd be, they'd be oh, close up on a hundred of all of them here. And they'd be fed, they'd fish in pairs. They'd have a neighbour, as they called them, and they'd be all here. Because in the spring of the year, they used to uh, paint them all up. So when they came here, they were in pristine condition. And uh, when they'd been out and landed their catch and washed down, they were just like yachts. They really were. You could eat your breakfast off the decks of them. They were that uh, lovely, you know. And they, were, they hadn't been long built. They were all built since the end of World War II. And uh, it was a marvellous sight, seeing them all. Six men on a boat. This town here was like Boomtown. It's like Las Vegas. It really was. And uh, it was down now, you'd get all the gutter girls would be here now. They was doing the uh, Salt Heaven. You'd have five, six hundred of them here. And they'd all be staying in these houses around the town. And then at the end of the prom there on a, on a Monday night, they'd have a big dance. And of course, these, uh, these girls wouldn't work Monday because there'd be no heading in from, from the weekend. And they'd be over there on a Monday night. God, it was, I tell you, it was, it was just like Las Vegas. And then, of course, once the heat got going over there, dancing, you could smell it was just like being in a Kepper house. Because uh, around there, you see where they were living, there was no, there'd be no water, just tin baths. How, how half they were getting washed, I wouldn't know. But uh, they used to last plenty of scent on them. Because halfway through the night, they'd be smelling. Coming down here, they'd be landing heron, and they'd be heron all over the place here. And you'd all, everybody used to carry a length of string and you'd be putting the string through the gills and bringing a dozen heading home, six heading, whatever you wanted. Nobody was greedy. And then you'd fill your stock up for the, uh, for the winter, for the for salt heading. And then uh, you'd have that full up. And, uh, and then through the winter months, you'd be uh, every Saturday, everybody in Peely would be on, that was the great thing, sponsoring heading on a Saturday. And of course, us being youthless, we hated it. And then about the April time, you'd hear them saying, I think there's a bit of rust getting in the heron. Well, that was like winning the lottery, because uh, <coughs> they'd go brownie, you see, with uh, being in the, uh, uh, in the salt all over the winter months. And uh, next thing, uh, they say, oh, no, I think that's, that's them finished. And then that was it. Then you'd go down to Maggie Johnson's for chips. So you're having chips then. Chips for the... Uh, uh, for the, uh, on a Saturday, chips for Maggie Johnson's and a big screw top of pop. And uh, well, that was something else. And then the next thing when these fishing boats come then, then you see land and heron, then all you were getting then on a Saturday in the summer then would be fried heron, fresh heron then, uh, or kippers. That's what you were on then all summer, kippers and fresh heron. Uh, uh, well, you lived on the heron. Uh, uh. Across the harbour there now was the shed where they had uh, the mart in the morning. Each boat, each boat would send a man over with a sample. There'd be about a dozen heron, and, and then the buyers could see what what the heron were like, and they would act accordingly. If they were good, you see, they'd be good for kippers and uh, solid, hard heron for splitting for kippers, and uh, plenty of oil in them. See, once, once the uh, September come, they were like big spents then. They were no good for kippers because they were, they, they, they were full of roll and they would split easy. Or, they, or a spents like they'd, the roll had gone out, you see, and they were just no good for kippers. They would, you couldn't split them open. So September gone, they'd, they'd be all right then, these curers then, they'd be good for putting down for the salt. So they were picking them up cheap then, once the end of August, so they would come in. And there'd be hundreds and hundreds of battles all over the, uh, all over the quayside here, out the breakwater. And then these battle boats from, used to come in then, September, Dutchmen and all the European ones, 
bringing them all out to Eastern Europe, uh, all the, the salt hand, hundreds and hundreds of battles. Uh, uh, that you thought it was never going to end. Uh, yeah, it was a great time, really was. Yeah, you knew all the you knew all these Scots fishermen, everybody. They were all like family when they came over, and then when they were all going back, oh God, yeah, it was just like a death. Uh, uh, couldn't get over it. Uh, just happened as quick as that. Yeah, gone uh, uh, till the following following year. Yeah. Uh. Thank you.